Welcome. In this video, we'll focus on some of the key benefits and values of using Talus Cypher Trust Cloud Key Management versus natively managing your cryptographic keys using one or more of the major cloud key management services. Here in this Chrome browser window, I am logged in to my Talus Cypher Trust Manager. And inside the Cloud Key Management tile is where we can start to discover, get an inventory, manage, and audit our cryptographic keys for all major cloud and SaaS providers. Under container is where we can start to manually or automate the process of adding new tenants for SAP, organizations for Salesforce, for Oracle, we added external vaults or hold your own key for public preview. For Google Cloud, we can add our projects and key rings. And if you're a Google Workspace Enterprise Plus or Google Cloud EKM customer, under services, this is where we can configure our endpoints and identity provider for Google Workspace and our other endpoints for Cloud EKM. For Azure, we can add our subscriptions and in AWS, we can add our accounts. To start scanning and get an inventory of our cryptographic keys, we can either manually start to scan each account individually or we can scan all accounts simultaneously by selecting refresh all and then clicking refresh all again. Over under Cloud Keys, if I select AWS, this is where we're going to get a centralized inventory and be able to manage the life cycle of our keys across multiple accounts and across multiple regions. At the moment, we are only looking at my AWS KMS keys. However, on the left, if I select Azure, this is where we can see and manage our Azure keys. And the great thing about integrating with Azure Key Vault is that we can also manage and get a centralized inventory of our certificates and secrets. Google shows me all my Google Cloud keys, including my workspace and external key manager keys. I don't have any Oracle or Salesforce keys at the moment. And then for SAP, I just have some test keys. Under schedule, this is where we can automate the lifecycle management of rotating keys or the discovery of keys by clicking add schedule. And if you are an AWS XKS customer, you can automate the rotation of credentials that are used to establish a connection between Talus Cypher Trust Cloud Key Management and AWS XKS. For audit purposes, under reports, this is where we can generate reports about our keys, how the keys are being managed, if any keys are about to expire, and which crypto operations are being performed against the key. Going back to Cloud Keys and AWS, just like from the AWS console, I can start to create keys from our CCKM console as well. This time, I get to select the account and the region I want to use the key in. For the key origin, I can choose to use an AWS Cloud HSM key. I can choose to bring my own key with the option to choose from several different key origin sources. I can also hold my own key using the external custom key store option, or I can continue to create a native key. I am going to reselect the region keep the default regionality option of using a single region key and then click next to continue. Just like from the AWS KMS console, I can select to create a symmetric or asymmetric key and based on the key type, I can choose the key usage as well. I'm going to give this key a name. I'll skip adding the description and I'll add a tag showing me as the owner and then click next. In this next screen, this is where we get to define our key management and data security controls. Now, just like from the AWS console, you can choose who has key admin permissions and who has key usage permissions. You can choose to copy and paste your own custom key policy, or you can select and apply a custom key policy upon creation, simplifying the security and management over the key. And we'll see how in a little bit after we create the key. In this next step, you can select the rotation schedule you would like to apply to your key encryption key. I'll select monthly for now, but remember they can always apply your own custom key rotation based on the schedules you create. And in the last step, 
we're going to review our key selection settings. And if everything looks good, we'll click Add Key and then click OK. And here's the key we just created. If you're looking to do Cloud Key Management at scale, a great way to get started is by going over to our API Playground to start testing and planning to automate the key lifecycle management process. And if you're an existing HashiCorp Terraform customer, we also have a CypherTrust Terraform provider you can start using as well. Now, up to this point, we looked at how we can start to discover, get an inventory, create, manage, audit, and automate your key lifecycle management process. But what about managing your security controls at scale? Unique to our CypherTrust Cloud Key Management and AWS KMS, we have this Save Policy tab where you can create, store, and apply your own custom key policy controls. Here we can see that I have a policy per account. And if I select my Talus Crypto Lab policy, we can see that there are eight keys associated with this policy. And instead of having to review the security controls for each key, I can now review the security controls from a single key policy. And if I need to make a global change to my security controls, I can now update a single policy and have those changes replicated to all keys associated with this policy versus having to update the security controls for each key individually. To learn more about Talus CypherTrust Cloud Key Management Solution, scan the QR code or visit the URL shown on the screen. Thank you for watching.